1982 Dodge S66 van. As you can see, it's got a large dual rear axle or dual rear wheel van. Apparently this one was ordered new by the uh, the coal board um, for use up here in County or near us in County Durham. Um, was then bought by someone when the mine was closed. And recently it's been in the hands of someone who's been using it as a rally event, rally cross support vehicle. You'll see some of the sort of memorabilia and stuff inside when we go around. Um, but yeah, UK supplied from new right hand drive. It was originally yellow, obviously still yellow with some white bits on the, on the sides. Um, dual rear wheel, like we say, 3.8 litre Perkins diesel engine. Um, but we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. Apologise for the video being outside, but obviously this one doesn't really lend itself to being inside on our studio so well. Um, however, for sort of transport, transport purposes, it does fit on a good size or a proper car trailer so that, that it does fit on that it's not huge it's just large right start with the bodywork we'll start on this driver's side if we look down the side it is relatively straight all the way down there it's got some marks and some some bodywork issues here and there where it's been touched up but actually if you look at the arches and the sills and those sort of areas it's not rotten it's not rusty it's got the odd little cosmetic scab of rust but it's not you know it is a solid old bus um, but again, the paintwork is certainly not show quality. You definitely wouldn't call it that. It's, uh, like I say, had some skims of filler and bits and bobs here and there. The odd roadside repair, I would say. But generally, it's a very straight old thing. Sliding windows on the front. I'm not going to point out every mark because it, it's 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 past that point. But it's you know, it's got the odd little bubble here and there. But if you push on them, they are they are solid. Um, and if you have a look underneath, it's nice and clean and tidy underneath. Not caked in under seal or hiding anything like that. Fuel tank there has obviously been done recently because that is lovely and tidy. Like I say, dual rear wheels. These nice steels, which again, they've been painted recently. They're nice and tidy. It's had a new arch on the back at some point. And that is plastic, actually. And then the metal section sort of meets here. A little bubble of rust on the bottom, but generally not too bad. Coming around on the back, you've got these huge twin rear doors. The tow bar on the back obviously was used for towing, uh, I believe a 205 rally car. Um, and then the compressed gas sticker is because we've got a bottle mounted here, which as you can see by the label, has been converted to run as a sort of compressed air, run as a compressed tank. Round on the passenger side, much the same story. All the wheels and tyres are nice. It's got good years all round, I believe. All nice, loads of tread left in those. Inside there you can see the leaf pack and a large amount of the frame. All looks nice and clean full size spare there but the usual sort of thing like the same as the other side the odd little bleb of rust here and there but like I say it is nice and solid go on the sill along here yeah that's all good have another look underneath from here as well arch again a little bit of cosmetic at the front there but it's not it is solid you can really pull on it it doesn't move at all round on the front you've got these four spot lamps they're all nice and clear. Little badge there, letting everybody know you've got your Perkins in there. Front bumper's been brush painted at some point. The bonnet's got some sort of chips and stone dents and things like that here and there. But again, if you look around the screen, it's not thick with rust, it's not rotten, the screen's not falling out or anything like that. Moving on to the interior. You've got two seats at the front. I mean, this one is sort of a bit of a contraption. It's been ratchet strapped into this position I believe and um, but it does still adjust and then there's a cover on there holding the keeping the backrest clean um, but basically it is kind of just a chair mounted in there really isn't it shows 50,000 miles which we do believe to be correct I don't believe we've got quite enough to back it up but we will double check it's possible if you check the description we'll detail everything we've got we have got quite a big history file with it top of the dash is all nice it's not cracked or dried out or anything like that so you've got your inspect, uh, engine cover here, got some additional gauges, we've got a boost gauge uh, or a pressure gauge of some sort, I'm guessing boost. In fact it won't be will it, it's on turbo, it's a silly thing to say. Um, and a rev gauge and then behind the seats we've got this storage area, a nice big skylight in there, there's a window to the rear, you've got another stereo up there, it's three pin sockets, loads of rally stickers telling you where it's been and what it's done. 
I imagine it's probably relatively known in the right circles. Got the axle weights and everything all on that on that pad there. Axle one, axle two, gross weight sixty six hundred. There you go. Going around it in the passenger side. Again, things like the door card trim and everything is all nice and tidy. The door shuts are good. It's got the bracket where the seat used to be. You obviously pull that down to mount your seat up like that. Um, but the seat itself is missing. And around there, all nice and tidy. It's all the, all the plastics and the trim, all good. It's got uh, some labels there for spotlight, split charging, that sort of stuff. And then round it in the back, got these really big double doors. You can see why it was a good support vehicle. Just down the size of it, all the space you get. So it's all racked out for storage on the doors and on the walls. Plenty of headroom. I mean, I'm six foot two and I can just stand up in here. More switch for sockets and lights, 240 volt. Loads of mounting points. What looks like some spare uh, leafs, but I don't believe they're off this. They look like spares from a rally car to me. A few more spares in here, you never know, you might find a gem. That's all labelled as Perkins, so I'm guessing that's engine spares for here. All labelled up. More rally stickers. Again, actually, all doors shut nice and easy. There's no sort of wobble on the side. It's like, if you compare it to the equivalent rotten old transit, where doors sag and all that sort of stuff, it's not doing any of that. Starting it up, it has uh, like an auxiliary glow plug, which obviously you plug in down here, plug that in, turn the ignition on, give it five or 10 seconds. I've started it a couple of times, a couple of times hot. Obviously once when it was stone cold, it starts on the button and then you just unplug that again. Where it goes, showing you all your vacuum, oil pressure, all that sort of stuff. Tick it over at about 650 RPM. Nothing nasty flying out of that exhaust. Quite a rare thing. I, don't, I mean, I, I, don't, I can't find another one that's sold recently or any real records of them. Um, but like I say, we believe it was ordered new by the Cull Board. It is in their colour, so that does make sense. Factory right hand drive, factory UK supplied. Um, recent years supporting rallies and events. Uh, if you've got any more questions, check the description. We'll detail everything we know. I know it's got a good size history file. Um, and we'll detail everything else we know there or of course give us a shout we're open for viewings every day so again let us know we can book you in or if you can't get to see it we can do video calls we can send you extra photos videos anything you might need thank you